another uh, mail order morning here. Birds chirping, crisp air, but not too cold. Cleaner air. Wow, the whole driveway is not totally covered yet. That's a plus. So I was up at 2.30 rescuing Tux, who was trying to take out the other orange cat. And I put him in here so I could go back to sleep without being scared to death he was going to get hurt. Good morning. I know. I just did it for your safety last night so we could all sleep nice and safe. It's time to come outside and see the girls. And there's the other orange kitty. He does not talk to us nice. And here's Stripe. I haven't seen Morris yet, but I'm sure he's close by. And the train. We have the train. We're up early again Still with the bit. birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful morning though. It is. I totally agree with that. Tuck seems no worse for wear. Let's go for a walk, buddy. I do have the humane trap set this morning, fingers crossed. Being serenaded by Mr. Hawk. Yeah, really? Quite, uh, quite nice this morning, all this wildlife and stuff. Oh, he doesn't seem to be moving too quick. Eh, he's okay. Come on, Tux, let's go! Well, my Miss Mary Azalea has opened up a bit this morning. But tomorrow it looks super pretty. Tux has rolled over a few times for me to rub his belly, so he's feeling fine. We're still friends. He's not holding the whole cat carrier overnight to sleep thing against me. As for your protection and my sleep, buddy, even if it did take me a couple hours to get back. Oh, yes, she's over there. You gonna go get her? Good girl. <laughs> yep, he's coming. He's coming. Hi. Hello. Tux, why are you in my fairy garden? <laughs> I'm headed to town. I'm going to go to PetSmart and try to get some Friskies. Um, Amazon subscribe and save. Ended up canceling my Friskies poultry platter monthly order. Um, I, I guess because they're having so much trouble getting it. And um, anyway, I'm down to a few days of cat food, so I better go try to get some someplace. <laughs> it is just a gorgeous day. Any way you look at it, it's a gorgeous day. Going to take down my Easter flag and put up my springtime Fuquay Verena flag. I drove through the Home Depot parking lot just to browse plants as I was driving past, and it was a zoo over there. Like I said, it's 73 and gorgeous, and I don't think there is a good time to go to Home Depot this time of year. It'd be great if the Lowe's and Holly Spring would open so there'd be more places people could go for their plant and stuff, not to mention the regular lumber and other things. No poultry platter, 24 mixed grill, 12 of the farm chicken. Oh well. Turns out there was some wellness brand stuff on 50% clearance and they did have more of the uh, farm chicken stuff plus I remembered cat litter. So I think I did good. I feel like I got enough that it was a worthwhile trip. I stopped in here at the garden hut just to look at the Japanese maples. We have this coral bark one. Okay, you too. Shin's Hojo. I thought I saw one down here, but it's huge. That's like the one we saw at WRAL. Yeah, this guy right here. Yep, this is it. it has the little red, I'm going to call it flowers, seed pods. Let me find the label on it. The label says it's called harp string. 
I looked up the name that I said and I think I read the wrong Margaret W-R-A-L because this, that, this name makes sense and yeah. That's too big for us though. We would need a tiny one. Well, that's the only one of that variety I see. And I would be looking for one this size or smaller, so. Well, they sure are pretty to look at. Just gorgeous. Congratulations! Johnny is going to be inducted into the National Honor Society on May the 5th. And in honor of that, we're making um, keto fried chicken tenders using coconut flour and um, Parmesan cheese. Looks like they turned out good to me. I'm going to trim the beauty berry back. And then if I am going along good and feel up to it, the butterfly bush. And I've got Helper Girl Gray here. Hey, sweetie. I'm happy with how it trimmed up. It's about like last year. And uh, I'm going to stop for now. That was enough um, upper body muscle use for one session. And uh, the butterfly bush is over here in the sun. There's what I cut off of it. And that's about what I cut off of the beauty berry last year, too. Johnny and I were headed for his in-person private Taekwondo lesson, but Master Lee called and said that they were doing some construction in the Dojang today and to please join via Zoom because they didn't get finished when they thought. So no big deal, but I'm glad I went out early instead of waiting to go to PetSmart and get cat food this afternoon as part of the Taekwondo trip. Okay, there's the after on the butterfly bush. I, uh, you know, its trunk is in really bad shape. I cut it back about this far last year and it really bounced back. I just, I don't want it so top heavy it pulls out of the ground like that other one did. And my pile's twice as big now. Whew! I'm gonna put Ruby away via going to the environmental park <laughs> and finish spinning my polka stops for the day. Hey, key fob is already in the car. Are you worried? <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. I've been working all day and I come out here and I got a fake deal with that. He's just playing with me. <laughs> yeah, Please. sure I am. Please. He's headed under the house. That's why he's got his hard hat on. It's actually not for carting it off. Doesn't it look better? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. This time I have to bring my chainsaw out here. Don't you dare. Well, you know we'll be lucky if we get another year out of that butterfly bush, but I'm going to trim it up as best I can. Yeah. <laughs> now, come on, James. Move my stuff off into the woods. <laughs> well, you almost got all of it. I suppose I could stop filming and put the rest in your hand. Or you could make two trips. Three cream cheese stuffed chicken breasts ready to go in the oven. If you're going to go outside and play at the end of the day, you got to have a plan for dinner. Oh, wow. He's, bring, he's bringing out my plants that are under the house. Thank you. You're welcome. Those don't look too good. Well, those were put under the house because they won't... Uh, make it in the frost freeze not because the plants were supposed to look like anything Protect the pots not the plants in this case. Yay. The ficus lives to see another year Yeah, it does well I got down there and watered it like I was supposed to this winter and all that good stuff So yeah, you'll see the piece of cement for it over here This one used to be at IBM. Yeah, this one's 
I bought it at Home Depot on the way to work one day and took care of it there until I left and and brought it with me to the other house and then Don we brought it over here. I don't know that it matters which way it's turning. Nope, I don't. Then think it has a good or bad. She's mom. I want to go in my play zone. They love to go under the house and then I have to come back out after dark and coax them out from underneath there. And Chef Alara looks good too. Yeah, it's big. Big Andy, big. <laughs> See, Don built this special attachment for the uh, hand truck for carrying plant pots. No idea which way you want to turn this one either. I would say that one spin it. A hundred and eighty. There, that's pretty good. This is why I train the electrician guys from Duke Power to go down and around to read the meter. That plant right there. <laughs> the rubber tree is in desperate need of repotting and uh, this was beside the garage uh, last year and we're gonna end up, we're gonna move it from this pot to that pot because we got a new pot over there. So what there. we did was we dumped dirt out of several pots that didn't really have anything living in them. And um, we screened out the gravel in the bottom and got rid of all the clumps and Don's mixing it up. It's pretty decent dirt still looks like. And we'll refill and go from there. Pots over there. Just, just uh, the blue one. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. I sure am having fun. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're out here with your girl. Right. I'm out here with my girl. Yeah, I've shown it before, but the plants are underneath down there, and Don has to bring out the lawnmower and other equipment in order to be able to get back there to where the plants are and can turn the light off until fall. It's on a timer back in there. Yeah, uh, it's also got an on-off switch, so I'll just flip the switch. But yep, it's on a timer, a Wi-Fi timer, all computerized.